Over the years, many well-known performers have made surprise guest appearances in Star Trek. Star Trek helped actors like Patrick Stewart and William Shatner become well-known, and they will always have a special place in our hearts for the series. However, a lot of well-known Star Trek guest performers are well-known for their roles in other films. Let's know more about the star guest actors in Star Trek. Number 1 is Dwayne Johnson. Seven of Nine is made to compete in Sunkatsi combat bouts for the amusement of the public after she and Lieutenant Tuvok are taken prisoner by an extraterrestrial spacecraft. Seven faces off against a Dwayne Johnson portrayed Pandari Man in one of her matches. Among the various wrestling maneuvers Johnson did on his own were some of The Rock's iconic moves, such as The Rock Bottom. The USS Voyager saves Seven from certain death in her final fight against a Herogen opponent before either opponent has to murder the other. In the episode Sunkatsi from Season 6 of Star Trek Voyager, The Rock portrayed the Pandari champion. The visit to Nakardia Prime, the site of the vicious Sunkatsi fighting competition, was the focal point of the Voyager episode. After Pank captures Seven of Nine and Lieutenant Commander Tuvok, the former Borg drone is made to compete. The Pandari champion, who resembles the WWE's People's Champion remarkably, was Seven's opponent. He raises the people's eyebrows throughout Seven and the Pandari champion's battle, then plants a crushing rock-bottom finisher on Seven. Number two is Ashley Judd. Ensign Robin Leffler, who appeared in two episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation, was one of Ashley Judd's early performances. Leffler was a young officer serving as Chief Engineer Jordy LaForge's assistant on the USS Enterprise D. She also briefly fell in love with Ensign Wesley Crusher. While on leave from Starfleet Academy, Wesley visits the Enterprise in The Game, where he and Robin assist in rescuing the crew after they develop an addiction to a Katarian game. Ashley Judd's character, Ensign Leffler, was supposed to appear in future episodes, but the timing just didn't work out. Number 3 is Terry Hatcher. In the outrageous Akona from Star Trek The Next Generation, Thaddean Akona, a roguishly charming space captain, is saved by the Starship Enterprise. Terry Hatcher plays Transporter Chief Lieutenant B.G. Robinson in an uncredited role. After beaming Captain O'Connor aboard the Enterprise, Robinson finds herself enchanted by him. Robinson vanishes from sight and Chief Miles O'Brien quickly ascends to the position of Transporter Chief. Terry Hatcher went on to play Susan Mayer Delfino in Desperate Housewives and Lois Lane in Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. She made an unforgettable appearance in the Outrageous Okana episode. The second season of Star Trek included this story. It had an untrustworthy freighter skipper that resembled a pirate. Billy Campbell, who audiences may remember as the lead actor from Disney's pre-Marvel superhero film The Rocketeer, as Thaddean Okana. As Hatcher portrayed B.G. Robinson, a Starfleet officer stationed in the transporter chamber, Okana was immediately introduced to her persona. Following their flirtations, Robinson invited Okana to stay in her quarters. Hatcher requested that her name be taken out of the credits since many of her film scenes were removed from the final episode, according to her Memory Alpha entry. This is undoubtedly one of the reasons why a performer would object to having their name attached to their part in a movie or TV program. Number 4 is Kelsey Grammer. As an avid fan of Star Trek, Kelsey Grammer from Cheers and Frasier made an appearance in Cause and Effect on The Next Generation as Captain Morgan Bateson of the USS Bozeman. The USS Enterprise D starts blowing up when it collides with the Bozeman coming out of a wormhole after discovering that it is stuck in a time loop. When Lieutenant Commander Data eventually breaks free from the loop, the members of the Enterprise crew realize that they have been imprisoned for 17 days. Captain Picard and company greet Captain Bateson to the 24th century, as the Bozeman has been absent for more than a century. Number 5 is B.B. Newirth. Throughout the late 1980s and early 1990s, B.B. Newirth portrayed Dr. Lilith Sternen Crane, the spouse of Fraser Crane, on the television series Cheers and Fraser. She made an appearance in Star Trek The Next Generation at this period, roughly a year before her on-screen spouse, Kelsey Grammer, would likewise make a brief cameo. Newirth portrays Lanell, an extraterrestrial nurse in First Contact, who attempts to aid wounded Commander William Riker in getting out of a hospital. When the villagers learn that Riker is not one of their kind, Lanell assists him in getting away since she wants to make love with an alien. Number 6 is Rain Wilson. Rain Wilson, best known for playing Dwight Schrute on The Office, made an appearance as the smuggler and conman Harry Mudd in two episodes of Star Trek Discovery. Mudd, portrayed by Roger C. Carmel in Star Trek The Original Series, had two encounters with William Shatner's character, Captain James T. Kirk, and his crew. In Choose Your Pain, played by Jason Isaacs, Mudd makes his screen debut as Rain Wilson's character, meeting him in a Klingon jail. 
In one of the most entertaining episodes of Discovery, Mudd makes his next appearance and tries to use a time loop to steal the USS Discovery. In addition, Rain Wilson played Harry Mudd in the Star Trek Short Treks episode The Escape Artist, which he co-wrote and directed with Mike McMahon, the creator of Star Trek Lower Decks. Number 7 is Christian Slater. In Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country, Christian Slater played an anonymous communications officer who worked the night shift on the USS Excelsior. In order to relay a message from Starfleet regarding the USS Enterprise A, Slater's character has to rouse up Captain Hikaru Sulu. Slater went on to star in a number of well-known motion pictures and television series after becoming well-known for his parts in Heathers and Robin Hood Men in Tights. Slater, a fervent admirer of Star Trek, was cast because his mother, Mary Jo Slater, was the casting director. At that time, Slater was a tremendous admirer of Star Trek and also somewhat of a celebrity, having starred as Will Scarlet opposite Kevin Costner in films such as Heathers and Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. However, it appears that getting a cameo role was mostly determined by who you know. In this instance, that person was his mother, Mary Jo Slater, who also served as the movie's casting director. Number 8 is Kirsten Dunst. On Star Trek The Next Generation, a young Kirsten Dunst portrayed Hedril, a member of the Cairn species, approximately a year before her breakthrough performance in Interview with a Vampire. After training the Cairn to communicate, Luoxana Troy pays the Enterprise a visit along with the Cairn ambassador and his daughter, Hedril. Counselor Deanna Troy, Luoxana's daughter, quickly discovers that her mother is not the flashy person she usually is. Eventually, a memory that her mother had long suppressed is unearthed by Deanna. Kestra, Loaxana's daughter, passed away when she was a young child before Deanna. Hedril made Loaxana unconsciously think about Kestra and brought back memories she had suppressed. Number 9 is Terry O'Quinn. In the seventh season of Star Trek The Next Generation, the Pegasus, formerly Captain Riker's successor, Admiral Eric Pressman pays a visit to the Enterprise-D, portrayed by none other than Terry O'Quinn from Lost. Pressman experimented with cloaking technology while in command of the USS Pegasus. Even though the Treaty of Algeron with the Romulans forbade the development of such technology, Pressman's studies ultimately resulted in a mutiny by his crew, but the incident's real cause was concealed. After struggling with his devotion to his former commander, Riker tells Commander Picard the truth, leading to the arrest of Pressman and his colleagues. Number 10 is Iggy Pop. Godfather of Punk, in Star Trek Deep Space Nine's The Magnificent Ferengi, Iggy Pop portrays Yelgren, a Vorda negotiator. Quark and his brother Rom assemble a group of Ferengi to save their mother from the Dominion. The Magnificent Ferengi is a hilarious episode that has a significantly lighter tone than most of the Dominion War episodes. Iggy Pop gives a standout performance. Iggy Pop isn't usually associated with Star Trek, but he's one of the unexpected actors you might not be aware of that made cameos in the series. Iggy Pop, who made a singular appearance as Yelgren, a grey-skinned Vorda, left his unique imprint on the Star Trek universe. Quark, along with a few other Ferengi characters, embarked on a daring journey to rescue his mother from the Dominion in the Deep Space Nine episode The Magnificent Ferengi. Serving as his superior's go-between, Yelgren casually welcomed the Ferengi party and, when questioned about his background, joked that he was cloned. What do you think of these star cameo appearances in Star Trek? Do you recall any other high-profile stars making appearances in Star Trek? Do share your thoughts on this in the comment section. For more interesting stories and updates, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Goodbye.